Hey guys, Pyro here. I'm going to show you how to download and install Emu Fryer's new newest edition. It is RetroArch. This is an all-in-one emulator that can emulate N64, PSX, which is PlayStation 1, pretty sure, like the first one, NES, SNES, GBA, and many more, even uh, Nintendo DS. Now, it is available on emufryos.net. Um, I'm actually going to show you quickly uh, myself playing. And N64 ROM, let's play Super Mario 64, and these are all the cores. A core is basically the emulator within the application called RetroArch. And here it is. This is me playing officially Super Mario 64 on my device. Now, if at all um, it looks like it's lagging, it's actually um, me airplaying to my computer. It's not actually the device, as you see in the bottom, in almost at 60 frames per second. Now, let's go ahead and get out of there. Now, so how do we actually install it? Just go to emufryos.net, simply click install on RetroArch, and it'll say in order for the application to install, your date must be set to 2012. So let's go to our settings application here. Scroll down to general, date and time, and then if set automatically is on, just turn it off. Go to time, time zone, and then as you see there, it I clicked on the blue date. Simply Scroll back until you get to 2012 or earlier. Oh, okay, I'm at 2012. Now I'm going to go ahead and double tap the home button and go back to Emufry OS. And as it says, click OK to confirm your date has been set to 2012. Click OK. Pop up should appear that says cloud.emufryos.net would like to install RetroArch. Just click install. Now, uh, depending on if you have a slow internet connection, like you're at McDonald's, or you have 3G, 4G, LTE, I don't know, um, since it is quite a big file, it may take a little longer to install. Now, it does say waiting, just be patient, because uh, it will install. I'm actually going to wait here. There we go, now it does say installing. Once it begins, it should be uh, smooth sailing from here on out. There we go, we have RetroArch uh, installed. Just simply click it on your home screen. And there is an ad, obviously. <laughs> no. So once you're in here, you would obviously click load content. Now, you would not actually have any of these in your uh, RetroArch preloaded. What you would have to do is actually go to Safari. And then, okay, you just search up here N64. For uh, ROMs, and that's and then you download them from Safari. And once you download and ins download your ROM, it'll say well, what would you like to open it with, and then you just choose RetroArch. Now, once you're in RetroArch, I've created little neat little folders for me. Just click on your ROM, so preferably my N64 ROM, and then scroll down to N64 and then you would be able to play your ROM. Now, in a future video, I will show you all the exact settings to get N64 uh, specifically, and S NDS and other uh, cores to run at their highest and best looking, and uh, with high, f like, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of settings and options. You can load states, let save state, rewind, slow motion, fast forward, shaders, and uh, down here, we have core options which these are all the core options and uh, if you have it maybe like a lower end device and graphics accuracy you put it to low so you get higher frames per second but it'll look a little worse but um, that's what you have to do to get higher frames per second such as resolution you can even uh, VI refresh you can turn it to 2200 and the frame rate to full speed obviously that would allow you to get full speed of frame rate that usually doubles your frame rate no matter how slow your device is, even if it's like 5 frames per second. <laughs> All you have to do is resume once you have changed your uh, designated settings depending on your device, and you can play your game. Now, I do actually have a save state, so let's go ahead and load state here. And as you see, I am playing... I don't know where I am, but it is really fast, looks really good. Uh, I enjoy it. So... 
Yeah. <laughs> All the buttons work really well. Um, I'll show in a future video how you can get the N64 buttons to work correctly because uh, for some reason they don't originally. But uh, if you'd like to see that, I'll gladly make a video for that. There's also a, you can make it portrait if you click the little, like, twirly button. And then landscape if you click the twirly button again. And yeah, so let's go ahead and close content. And that's basically the gist of RetroArch uh, on emufryos.net. Um, if you want any updates, there are updates to this and updates to anything non-jailbroken or emufryos. Simply follow me on Twitter, which is emufryos. Yeah, twitter.com slash emufryos. Kind of not used to that. <laughs> or you can just uh, subscribe here and I'll be posting some uh, videos on RetroArch as it comes along as I create them. Uh, not create... RetroArch, like videos for RetroArch, like um, speed enhancements for Super Mario 64, specifically stuff like that. So, yeah, go follow me on emufryos, and I hope you guys enjoy. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye-bye.